So I know I've talked about passion, purpose, perseverance in a previous video. However, I couldn't fail to bring up something that is so pertinent to that concept, but also illustrative of the concept in action. So my best, best friend, uh, who, he knows who he is, and those that know me know who he is as well, so he doesn't need to be named, um, and it's not relevant either. This last week, um, messaged me on, in, in an evening and said, I've got this great idea for a business venture, what do you think? And it was an instant feeling of, yes, this is you, this has got legs as a business, it's viable, um, unbelievable. And the, the difference in conversation then in the week to weeks beforehand, there's something maybe not so, so tangible that you can sense that's going on. And it's interesting. So my mum was walking by when I was on the phone and she said, oh, he sounds much different. I shouldn't know the context. And again, going back to what I said previously, when someone's got that passion and that purpose, the tonality of the voice is different. The things they're talking about are different. It's a thrill, it's a joy to be around. And that brings on to today's main topic, which is all about having people around you, friends, family, what have you, that are supportive, that want the best for you, um, and that celebrate your success with you. Um, at the end of the day, if you can't share or don't share your life with people, um, it becomes very solitary, you become very reclusive um, and isolated and alienated from others. Um, and that's not who we are as humans. We're all naturally social animals, some more than others, obviously. But we all crave that uh, social interaction at some level. And again, I'm not going to go into names, and this is not a truly really negative um, conversation today. However, I'd be remiss of me not to mention the fact that some of my other friends from childhood have not at all been supportive of things I've done with allergy and other things going in the past. They are incredibly unavailable emotionally, intellectually, um, geographically um, for me. And by, when it works the other way around, I'm the one that calls them, checks in. When I'm over in the city that they live in, I make an effort. And they, these things aren't reciprocated. Uh, one of these people actually screenshotted a comment that I made on LinkedIn and then proceeded to berate me um, for my ambition. And then I juxtaposed that against some friends that I've met more recently, who I don't know as well, who have a different approach. And they couldn't have been more supportive. For example, they've all downloaded the app, they've all left a review in the app store, not so me asking to do so. And they've given me constructive feedback. Whereas my childhood friends, on the whole, have done none of the above. And so I started to think, hold on a minute. Who do I want to be around? People that support me, people that can identify what's good for me, um, and people that I can also get behind and support. And that's a normal relationship to hold. I think one of the big mistakes people make in relationships romantically or otherwise is convenience. Now, how many things that are convenient are actually good for you? So convenient foods generally not the best sort of food. Convenient equals easy equals it's just there so I'll do it type scenario. It was convenient for me 
not to go to the gym or it's convenient for me to sit in front of the TV and lounge or whatever else. Look, there are positive connotations as well of convenient, but I'm just suggesting that in this way, a convenient or a relationship where the foundation, the foundations rather, of convenience is very toxic if there's nothing else to it. And that's what I think the struggle is. So if you go to your childhood, those friends are, in my world, we went to Jewish schools, obviously the same age group, parents maybe in some of the social circles, but not really in my case, actually. But that could be the case as well. So all of a sudden, those um, criteria, that's convenience. So you become friendly. And at that point in time, maybe you all watch football together, sports, or have similar interests. And as time goes on, people move in terms of geographically, they drift, and their passions alter. And if those childhood friends cannot be supportive, aren't there for you in the, the deepest, darkest days, and also aren't happy for you, then they don't think you've got an issue. If they've got the blinkers on and all they're seeing, I used this analogy the other day, if all they're seeing is one series of Netflix and that's it, and that's all they want to understand, that's all they're happy with, and they're not prepared to realise that there's a thousand other series on Netflix, some are good, some are, are bad, in their opinion, some they could take little things from this series, little from that series, I think people have to really seek to understand the other person's point of view before making judgment. And those that prejudge based on their own criteria, based on their own constructs, their own confines of the brain, of their four walls, that's toxic. So my place to today is I have never been happier, truthfully, than my friend in the States is on his right path. I'm, I'm thrilled and it's actually, in some respects, more of a buzz for me seeing that than it is for myself. And this person knows that. Um, and I know in the same way, he's been incredibly supportive of me throughout the toughest times and whatnot. And that's true friendship. It's a reciprocal, it's not a gift to get. I don't believe in that. It's just a reciprocal relationship where the other person seeks to understand, is happy and thrilled for the other person, and is supportive. I don't think that's a lot to ask for. And if you look for that in your relationships, uh, whatever they may be, that will help you on your own personal journey. And if you haven't found that yet, keep looking. Don't be rude to the individuals that don't have that, because it might be that their own lack of foresight. But maybe just slowly remove yourself from speaking to them too much, from hanging around with them too much, because they are not going to help you and have no interest in helping you get to where you really want to be and become the person you really want to be.